Bo Mac, Bo Mac, Bo Mac. Why? Let's talk boxing. Big Boss can't poke through the door. So, Bo Mac was interviewed by Fight Hill TV. Shout out to him. Shout out to Marcos Villegas. Appreciate them for doing the interview. Um, Bo Mac answered some questions, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to post a link in the description so y'all can go look at it. So, and I'm not going to talk about everything in the interview. I'm going to hit on maybe two or three key points. So, um, first question, Marco Villegas, or one of the questions, I want to say first question. One of the questions that Marco Villegas asked him about was the work rate of El Spence. You know, he said that's some, something that Terrence should be concerned with because Terrence takes a lot of rounds to collect data and gain information before he is able to uh, basically return, you know what I mean, and, 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 and be able to, you know, you know what he do. He take rounds to collect data, and then once he get that data, then he, toss, he takes over the fight. So that's what he's saying. They're gonna, he ain't going to do that against Spence. And Bo Mack responded with, oh, well, if I fight you and I stand in front of you or you stand in front of me, I'm going to look pretty damn good, you know? And, of course, Marco Villegas laughed. And then, you know, Marco Villegas was, you know, responded with what most people say Arrow is putting him there because he cuts the ring off, he's using his jab and things like that. And Bo Mack responded with, oh, Terrence is different, you know? So... In essence, he tried to shit on Errol Spence opponents and say, oh, they just stand there. Like, Errol, look, I'm going to tell you something. Errol is a tactician. He's skillfully breaking these dudes down. He has IQ. The reason why they standing is they can't go nowhere. He take their legs away. I don't think y'all understand this, bro. I don't think Bo Mack understand this. Matter of fact, he do understand this. He just refused to acknowledge the fact that L. Spence is beating the shit out of these fighters. That's what it is. Because, in essence, he tried to say, like, basically, like, they trash. That, that's basically, we just gonna call spade a spade. That's basically like, oh, they just standing there. No, they standing there because L. making them stand. They can't go nowhere. Because, think about it. L. cut the ring off. He going to your body. He catch you with jabs. He throwing uppercuts, right? What is that doing? Going to your body. Your legs go, Right? So if you trying to move around and your legs are weak and you got the Bambi legs, what you think is going to happen if you moving around and they'll catch you with a shot? You're going down to the ground. So your best bet, if you don't want to get stopped and fall to the ground, is to stand in front of the arrow. That's your best bet because you don't have the legs. I'm telling you, man, they taking arrow spins too lightly. Okay? And this is why the difference I say between... The camps and Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. A lot of y'all crying comment section talking about, oh, y'all yeah, yeah, yeah always trying to take up for Errol because Errol Spence gets disrespected like he another fighter, like he just trash. And Terrence Crawford gets all this praise. Terrence Crawford is the favorite in this fight. Terrence Crawford is the, the let me say this. Terrence Crawford deserves the praise that he gets. He deserves that. On my channel, we keep it a thousand. He deserves the praise that he gets. Now, it's a question mark as far as, you know, what he gonna do because he ain't fought a, he ain't fought them fights right so this is his chance to put that on display against Errol Spence right but I know what Errol is because he didn't fought the top fights and he didn't beat their ass that's just real talk we just go we ain't finna we ain't finna hold back on this video that's real talk he didn't fought those top fights he didn't beat them that's real talk so you got a fighter like Errol who didn't been through the fire who done fought the top fights, he still get disrespected like he just another fighter. Whereas Terrence gets all this praise, oh, he's pound for pound, this, that, and the third. Fine, he deserves that. But L. Spence deserved that too. That's, that's what I'm saying on my channel. You know what I'm saying? L. Spence deserves that same respect. And they don't respect L. Spence. I'm called Spade to Spade. I seen it in Bomax's face and, and how he was talking. When Marcus Viegas started telling him about certain things that Errol Spence does, he was just looking like, I'm telling you, they going into this fight, they thinking it's easy. Bo McEwen was finna say that. He had to stop himself. They think this shit finna be easy. I'm telling you this. They think it Terrence finna come in there, Errol gonna hit him with something hard, 
and then Terrence going to cut it up, and that's going to be the end of it. That's what they think. Listen to what he said. Man, I've been with, I've seen this kid. I've seen this kid from jump. And notice, he talking all this shit, okay, in the park, right? He wasn't talking like that on that stage with Errol. It was nothing but respect. He get in this park, ah, oh, man, you know, I don't know, man, you know. I mean, I'd look good, too, if a fighter just stood in front of me. Huh? I'd look good, too, if I'm Bud Crawford. I got all knockouts. I would look good, too, if I'm fighting less than competition. We got to tell the truth on this channel. That's, that's, that's what I do on my channel. I don't sit here and, and spew fictitious information. All this is facts. Elspeth's fought better competition. Taz Crawford has it. The reason for that, we could talk about that all day. I got I got time. I could talk about that all day. And I could tell you the real reason why Terrence Crawford ain't fighting no elite competition. At the end of the day, we got caught spade to spade. El Spence deserves the same respect that Terrence Crawford deserves. Not sitting here saying that, oh, El Spence is pound for pound number one. Not saying that, right? On my list, pound pound number one is Jamil Charlo. That's, that's, that's my opinion. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, this fight right here, Errol gonna show why he's the better fighter. He collected, first of all, you, you didn't try to fight his coach. Now you disrespecting him. And I told y'all, look at the difference between camps. Errol Spence and, Errol Spence and, and Derek James. Oh, Terrence Crawford's a great fighter. Um, You know, he's a good fighter. You know, I'm just gonna beat him. Terrence Crawford didn't call Errol Spence a hoe before, a bitch. Bo Mack didn't say it, all type of stuff. He a drunk and all this stuff. They didn't said all this stuff about Errol. Right? But when you talk about stuff like that, that and that's nothing relatively to boxing. If Tess would just simply straight up say, hey, I think I could beat Errol, that's like El Smith doing. El Smith gives Terrence Crawford praise. Their James and them give it Terrence Crawford praise. But they say, I think my fighter would beat Terrence Crawford. This fight right here is going to prove that Terrence Crawford is the real deal. That's just what it is. This is going to prove, because you're going against a, a dude that be breaking bone in niggas' face. So everybody picking Terrence, that's fine. I, nobody has a problem with that. What we're saying is is that El, you have to acknowledge that Errol Spence is a, is a top fighter as well, and other people don't do that. And that's the problem. Even Terrence Crawford's trainers don't think that. They don't think Errol Spence is a top fighter. They taking this fight easy. I'm telling you. The title of this video is going to be called Bo Mack and, and Terrence Crawford think this fight for to be easy against Errol. Just how he talking. Look at all this nigga talking. I mean, the reason why he look how he look, I mean, you know, basically he said Errol Spence look how he look because the dude's just stood there. El, the dude's just stood there. So Kel Brook just stood there in front of Errol Spence? Fuck out of here, man. Stop playing, bro. So Ugas just stood there in front of Errol Spence? No, Uga stood in front of El Spence. His ribs was broke. His nose was broke. His eye was broke. All that was broke. Try to fight somebody with broken ribs and a broken nose. I don't know if any of y'all box before. It's hard to breathe sometimes. I got asthma. It's other fighters that got asthma. Try to try to get in that ring and pinch your nose and just breathe out your mouth and tell me how long you last. Come on, man. Stop playing, bro. Like, we ain't got, we ain't finna go down that road, bro. Like I say, Terrence Crawford is a heck of a fighter. He's a great fighter. He's accomplished a lot of his career. This is gonna be the time he come up short. Y'all let me know what y'all think, boss girl.